This video is about collaboration. I'm going to show you how I go about collaborificating because sometimes you need to do some collaborationism between you and other musicians so that it's all a big collab and you're you know working in this co collaboratory and uh, all right sorry I, I went too far how's it going this is Lenny with Heavenly Sounds back with another video how you guys doing that's good that's good I'm glad to hear it uh, right yeah I, I can't hear anything I'm I'm just talking to myself here so uh, yeah um, it'd be weird if I could hear you <laughs> it'd be kind of scary anyways so I got, I got this video about collaborating with other musicians let's say you're working on a song you're doing an arrangement uh, and you got some ideas going you got something going on uh, but if you're anything like me you can't do it all I mean maybe some of y'all there can but I can't do it all so I need I need to assemble the team you know what I'm saying uh, so I got I got to bring in some of the big guns so I'm going to show you my process of how I go about doing that using PreSonus Studio One, uh, which, by the way, if you haven't heard, uh, let me just go ahead and fill you in. Uh, PreSonus Studio, and so in the world of DAWs and recording software, uh, I believe PreSonus Studio One is pretty much taking over. I mean, it's 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 crazy. You remember Pinky in the Brain? It's kind of like that, but you know they're actually doing it. You know they're they're succeeding in their mission. That's that might be a little too old for some of y'all. I'll put it like this: What's this movie that keeps coming out like every year or so? There's like 25 of them. It used to be about racing, but now it's I don't know. It's just can't keep track anymore. Fast and Furious, right? So yeah, they, when, back when the movies used to be about racing, you know, you'd have these guys and, and the race would be really close, and then someone would hit the NOS button. Right, so that's kind of that's Studio One. They they hit the NOS button. And they just they took over, and it's up to everyone else to try to to try to catch up or keep up. I I'm just saying that's my take on it. I mean, go ahead and do your own research. Look up all the YouTube videos you can find on all the different DAWs and the features and whatnot. That's kind of how I see things. So, but usually when when I say it, that's it. It's said. So consider yourself well informed of the situation right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so here we go. Now this is a session of PreSonus Studio One I have open here. Uh, this is a song I've been working on. I've been working on the uh, arrangement for this song. I pretty much got all the parts ready to go. There's just um, something that I need recorded. So at the moment, uh, let me just show you real quick a uh, quick little snippet of what it sounds like. All right, and that's it. That's all you're going to get. Just a sneak preview. So this this is going to be the next big hit. It's going to be out there. You heard it here first. All right. So <laughs> All right. So now what is happening here is that everything sounds pretty much complete, but I need a a a baseline. Um recorded here so you now if you remember there was you just heard a bass on this but that was just me on the keyboard just kind of throwing something on there uh you know more for reference but this song actually calls for it calls for what you might describe as a real bass player all right so in that case i need <laughs> i need to send this over to a, a real bass player it's just that's what the situation is so all right, so first thing I'll do is I'm going to go over to what I currently have as the bass track, and I'm going to hit mute. There's a button here that says mute. I'm going to go ahead and mute it. So now when I play it, there you go. The bass is gone. Okay, so that's step one. Uh, the other thing I'd like to do to prep this before I send it over to Mr. Bass Player is I'm going to go ahead and open my uh, markers. So if you go up here in the very top, there's a little symbol here. It looks like a flag. Open marker track. I'm going to click on that, and that brings up my markers. I already had these markers set up for this song, but if you did that the first time, 
it wouldn't have all these other markers. It'd just give you a start and a finish, so the, or the end. So the end, I have it already set there, and I have my start already set there. That is very important because if you notice, I didn't start recording on measure one. That's just a bit silly. You don't want to start recording on measure one. You want to give yourself some space uh, just for the creative juices, you know. You don't know how you're going to, you know, you're still working up how you're going to do uh, your intro and whatnot. You want to give yourself some space to be able to do that. So uh, your start point is wherever your start marker is. And that's how that works. Okay, so make sure you got your start and your end. And there is one other thing that I like to do, uh, and that is to create a click track. And I do that for a very specific reason, and I'll explain to you in just a minute. But before I explain to you that, uh, first I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. All right, so down here at the bottom, uh, where the metronome settings are, there's a few different symbols. One of these symbols looks like a little wrench. So if you click on that, that's metronome setup. And that brings up your metronome setup. So, yeah, you with me so far? All right, cool, thanks. Glad to hear it. Yeah, no, I, I still don't hear anything. I'm just making pretend. Um, but in my head, I did hear you say, um, I am with you, Lenny. So I, I'm believing it. So we're going to keep going forward. Now, <laughs> we have metronome set up. There's a button up here that says it's called Render. If we click on that, and I'll just go ahead and start it. And it's fine. Hit OK. Boom. It just ran, it just created another track uh, called Click. So and that did all of this as a click track. So let me go ahead and X this dial this box here. I actually don't want this in a click track throughout the entire song. I just want the click track from right here, my start marker. So what I'm going to do is grab this and drag it over to this line to my start line and I want the click track to end right at this mark and so I'm gonna go and take this backside and just drag it all the way over here let me go ahead and zoom into that point and that's where I want it to end so and there's a very specific reason for this uh, I got my click track. Let me. I'm gonna mute this one because I already have this other one set up. Let me show you how it sounds. Uh huh. Okay. So did you hear that? So what happened was, I got basically a full measure of click before my intro. Um. And that is done specifically because when I send this over to Mr. Bass Player, he's going to hear a, a full measure of click track before the intro starts. And what that does, it makes it easy for him to be able to line up or record his audio. Or he's going to bring in the audio into his session, line it up on his grid, and record alongside that. In fact, let me just go ahead and show you how he's going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so before I do that, let me finish this up here. So I got my click track. It's it's. Let me play it for you one more time, just so you can hear it. All right. So a measure of click and then the intro. All right. So now I'm ready to send this to Mr. Bass Player. So the way I'm going to do that is up here in the very top. There's a tab called Song. I'm going to click on that. Go down to Export Mix Down. So that's going to export whatever I have currently. So let me go ahead and name it. Uh, I'm just going to put no base. Um, make sure that when you... So this is going to basically come up as a WAV file. I'm, I'm choosing WAV file. I'm choosing 48K. Uh, make sure you give this information to Mr. Bass Player so he knows what's going on. This is not... this sample rate is not that important because studio one will adjust you know but uh, it's still helpful you can go ahead and give them the sample rate make sure please for the love of God make sure you give them the tempo and the timing so that he knows what how to set up his song when he does his session all right so 
between song start and end marker remember the start and end marker is this up here and then the end is over there so that's what this is going to do hit ok and there it goes it is going look at it go there it is I don't know what to say I just we're just waiting for it to, to go there it go all right song two no bass okay so now this is where I have my songs uh, I'm gonna go ahead and email it to mr. bass player and let's we're, we're gonna pretend I just did it okay so I just did it all right now let me show you the other side right all right so that's how I send it out to mr. bass player now let me show you the other side of that let's now pretend that I am mr. bass player and I just received the email I told myself what the tempo is the time signature uh, wh whatever the key is and so I got all the information now I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new session in studio one on my studio one as the bass player so and here we go so this is how we're gonna do it create a new song and just call it whatever you want to call it I'm just typing in bass track I uh, got the same sample rate I have the tempo the correct tempo and the time signature so I'm ready to go boom here we go now first thing I'm gonna do is look for that file that was emailed to me and so on this right side here you know you, you this might come up as instruments effects loops anyway there's a section here called files I know exactly where that file is so I'm gonna go exactly to where I have it so this is gonna be it right here so show you how qu quick and easy it is you click and drag click drag boom is there that's it I, I just did it I just put it on a track it, just, it came up with a track it and it's there it is so check this out if I hit play and, oh my god it, there it is it's right there simple as that now as the bass player you know I, I, I listened to it I practiced it I went over it I know what I'm gonna do now I want to start recording great so this is what I'm gonna do the plus sign right here add a track I call it bass and I got my input set up I'm gonna start here in fact before I start recording let me also do this open marker track let me drag my start marker over here so it lines up with there and let me find where my end marker is it's way back here so let me go ahead and drag it and put it at the end of this and there we go perfect all right so now I am ready to do this uh, so I'm gonna arm my bass track let's see look at that awesome bass I mean it's piano but whatever I'm this is a demonstration people okay uh, so I'm gonna start here hit record okay that's about enough of that so yeah I just recorded a, a track here and it's it's lined up perfectly with my other one all right so let's say that I'm I'm done like I, I just recorded the whole you know again we're in make pretend make believe land so I just recorded the whole thing start to end I'm happy with it and I'm gonna as the bass player now I'm gonna send it back to myself the uh, uh, arranger person uh, as a complete bass track so the way I do that is I'm gonna go over to the other track and make sure I'm gonna mute that so now when I play it all it is is the bass track again we're, we're pretending this is a bass so you guys still with me right yeah all right cool 
So I got my bass track. It's ready to go and it's in between the start and end and it's lined up. So just the same process from here. I'm going to go up here to the tab, hit song, go down to export mix down. I'll call this bass or just bass track. I don't know, whatever, something like that. And um, between start and end marker, hit OK. I just I done did that and now I'm going to email this to myself so I can add this track together with all the other tracks that I have and boom that's it we done collaborated this has been an epic collaborationism and we are on track to great things in the whole collab and you know it's all coll collaborating and co uh, yeah all right sorry i'm doing it again uh but that, yeah there you go these are my steps on how to go about collaborating with other musicians um you know especially you know we, we can't always meet and record together so this is basically how we do it separately and uh bring it all together so there you go boom <laughs>